I've got the infield half wave connect the SDR receiver via the cat a bit more control. This is my little grippy table for the car when I go portable. It's connected to the 40 meter hot end head half wave and that 91 on is absolutely wiping it out. That's the finished uh, setup for the 91 on and lads. At least two foot off the floor. Uh, it, like I say, I, I bought that 15 mil dowling. It, it was like uh, 2.5 meters, something like that. And uh, it makes good stakes. Just cut it an angle and it, uh, it'll drive in easy. Um, or you can use a tripod or a fence. But uh, it weighs less than uh, half a kilo altogether. Super light. Um, Paul's, Paul's getting, Paul, I think it's Snyder, Paul Snyder is getting this kit, this very kit, and he was going to get that rod, but uh, I found a brand new one in the back, so lucky him. Um, I'm more or less organised with the mail, I'll be starting tomorrow. Got about eight items, and uh, to, the, to the lads who uh, were understanding obviously I'm by myself I look, uh, look after me ma'am uh, sometimes it gets us done and I just close up anyway uh, everything's sorted now she's sorted um, I'm all organised and I'm going to do a uh, video on these I might order some more actually because uh, they're working mint uh, Mark Smith with a C Mark with a C sorry he uh, he's getting right out with it Anyway, this is the best configuration in your garden. Uh, it's quite thin, so like it's it's not going to upset many people. If you put it in the tree and feed it up like I did, showed you before, you can't see it at all. Um, but uh, that cracking, a little box like that. Now, what I do, it's pretty obvious, I import from China. Um, I do a, a test I've actually rewired half of them because uh, the soil one's a bit shoddy but I thoroughly, I thoroughly test each unit uh, before seal which I've, I've got about 15 of them at the minute I just went mad when I when I sold the first wave I went mad and bought loads of stock and I overspent in there uh, that's how some of the uh, the, the, the funds went uh, askew um yep I, i've got some more stuff i'll be posting the night but i i need to i need to sort of like calm it down a bit because I, I think i've got about four 14 pendant items which is is not a, a big deal you know it's uh, pretty easy since i've uh since i've uh sussed, what is it hermes and i couldn't believe the the asian shop which is literally about Five minute walk. Uh, I walk in, log in the computer, type your name and address, bang. Type my name and address and email, bang. That'll be four pound fifty. <laughs> um, as I say, the rule states any more than four days before tracking. If I don't get it within four days, you get a freebie. Whereas uh, it'll be different things. It could be a spare balling. A uh, couple extra fishing reels. Perfect for radials and perfect for long wires. As uh, Mark has got his, I noticed, uh, set up like a fishing rod. And he's cracking out. Um, I, I've got a lot of uh, a lot bits and pieces I need to get rid And the shade is uh, more or less organised. It's huge, you know, it's, it's four by four. And the whole roof flew off and went in the allotment, sir. We've got the wood back, but uh, I'm I'm too handicapped to do that, you know. I actually struggle with this type of stuff, but uh, it, it keeps me head gone. And it gets us away from me, ma'am, because uh, dementia is setting in, which is uh, not easy to deal with. But I've got I've got her sorted. <laughs> um, 
Well, while I'm on here, these had a few people asking about this tripod. It's actually what you call a light stand. It has the T-bar on the top. This is the best uh, 25 quid I spent. I got this one from Amazon, but they are on eBay as a stainless steel version. And that's the black version like this. A dog leader thing at the bottom. You know them dog anchors? You um, lash it down with a bungee and it doesn't move. Solid. Um, I've had a few aerials go over. It isn't fun. That was a concept I was trying. And uh, I bent the ends and it just looks shite, so I'm not selling it. Or I might give it away. I'll put the uh, SO239 in. My shade contents is all down there. Tripods, antennas. That's me and third halfway of myself. Uh, it's about 8 metres high. And the one behind is an 80 metre almost vertical. It's 80 metres high. And to be honest, there's absolutely no difference in signal between the two. So it was a lot of hard work for nothing. Always look out for these bike maintenance stands. Great for car work. Metal poles, 10 foot. 16 pound from uh, Maxwell's. No, not Maxwell, sorry, tool station. Um, trying to think what else. Good park on uh, stands. Never use it. Never use it. In wire. When you're a true ham, you never let wire get away. So, anyway, cheers, lads. Uh, I'll get myself organised and start our posting the stuff tomorrow. And uh, hopefully everyone's sorted. Uh, Simon, has, uh, he's been a bit of a help, you know. He's... Uh, but he's never said now to put uh, his late post and he's like okay matey okay so i've sent off his parcel and he's going to get a surprise i hope it's a i hope it's for a nice surprise but uh i've made him i've been the day so just uh obviously didn't uh, give him grief uh the lad's not well uh, it's just basically if i'm missing stuff like uh that bill larry what he did was ridiculous i know he, what he did was i he, on the Sunday night, he asked he asked us a hundred questions about the aerial to the point where I was like, "Look, mate, do, do you want it or not?" Anyway, he eventually parted with his money. The next day, I was building. I built out here, and uh, I went into my Facebook at night, and I seen a message saying, "Where are you? Why aren't you answering? Why have you ripped us off?" This was Monday morning. I was like, "What the hell?" And then I found his, his comment. He must have typed it down, copied and pasted on every single post that I did, every sing, single th thing I had sold. Now, what I do is, and it's, it is it is a normal like, part of business, uh, when I make a sale, I post a couple of aerials that people are waiting for, but uh, and I try not to use my benefit, not my benefit, my pension, uh, to fund it. Because obviously it's just not working if I, if it's costing us money. But uh, I have uh, I met a few more friends on uh, doing this. And uh, I go portal all the time. I'm not with the least car like the other cars uh, in the garage. Um, I'm too accident prone to drive a car like that. <laughs> it's a least car. I'll end up uh, knocking it. And uh, I come second last year in Springfest using this one of these that one is basically the same uh setup uh, in and one uh, by moonraker but that's the 200 watt version these are supposed to be 100 watts um i find it hard to, to believe that you can drive 100 watts i was going to set up the kenwood ts480 the day because i've got it all linked that controls that so basically i've got a band scope um but uh, it's getting on now i need to start uh writing um addresses down uh well i'm trying to think what else 
if you if you just go out with the kids, yeah, give us some feedback. Mark, Mark went out and he's uh, he's had a hell of a time there, from what I see. Um, I think it's seventeen. I can't, I can't remember. He had he had one band he was struggling with. You just got to try different lengths of uh, quarks, different setups. Um, I mean that's like a three meter lead. I've got a choke right at the base. You're not supposed to do that because you need some of the cable to be a counterpoise. But um, it's only three meter. I don't want three meter counterpoise. I'm going to put uh, what's it called common ground mode or something like that. I've started making the the chokes. It's a common ground choke. These will be cheap. Name on the tanner. If, if you've got a double end, we haven't got any here. Come on. What you do is, obviously, it's, it's a patch lead and I've got the ferrite beads on it. But say one, one's okay, two's better, three's okay. And then it's like seven is best, but I have one, two, three, four, five, six. I have a seven on there. I like to put that end into the antenna. That end into the antenna. Not, obviously, not the double female. That's going on there. Clear the day. And that double female on there. In the work. I'm trying to think of a way to prove it. I have got a big amp, like a, a, a guitar amp, and I could do that, I suppose. Like, show you the RF feedback, um, and then put this on and show you it working. Also, yeah, common ground quax truck. Six turns one way, six the other. And that, that's a really good catcher. Um, Honestly, thought the what, uh, 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 you know, like a myth, and you think, how does that work? But again, I've got my guitar amp, 500 watt Marshall uh, amp there, and I was using it as a, a speaker for the computer. And um, as soon as I keyed up, it was like, <clears throat> and I put a couple of chalks in, stopped it all dead. Another thing, I will be doing a uh, 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 a presentation or video uh, about people um, complaining about noise, the noise floor. If you look at my videos from yesterday, you'll see that that oven is like silent. And the reason it's silent, oh yes, the reason it's silent is um, that there's no mains. The radio has battery in it. That, it, the onion's not earthed and it's silent uh, it's about an S1 S1 and a half when you've got your computer connect your radio um, anywhere even like SDR cat whatever you're making the SDR part of your ground loop and the ground loop is every neg like negative part of your you know like uh even your, your um, audio sockets on the negative part, your mains, everything is looped into your radio. And anything that's uh, naughty on the on the mains uh, computer, main, you know what I mean, RF, where mains born RFI. Yep, we're talking like cheap power supplies, uh, like for LEDs, solar panels, uh, especially when they're under strain, normally dusk, seven. Uh, 40 meters is, is unbearable. Disconnected from thing. I use a car battery in the bedroom, and when I go active, I turn everything off. I've got an inverter, which I'm absolutely blown away with. It's a 4,000 watt inverter, and when I use it, it does not make noise. And how I know, not good people, how I know is through the SDR. I can't believe how quiet uh, 20 minutes is. It is, yeah. Another 40, what can it now? 40. Yeah, 7100.
Uh, I must have been uh, summit in my life. But, oh god. Yeah, I'm going to uh, do a, a, a video on how to find noise using an SDR dongle. Um, for instance, I'm going to show you something. Right, I want you to watch that, that screen. I'll show you what it is in a second. I'm trying to get the switch in. Watch. Right, I want you to watch that screen. See the noise floor there? It is hard to see, but you can just see it. Well, are you ready? It's right now, now. And that is a UK Force smart charger. It shouldn't, it shouldn't, uh, spill that. It blocks all of HF. All of it. Ridiculous. Anyway, lads, uh, thanks again. Uh, you lads who paid and added yesterday, you'll get your stuff every day. You get an extra uh, thing added. But it doesn't matter, I've got bucket fulls of stuff that I need rid of. I've got a few plates that I can't sell. I'll be putting them on. I might have a freebie Friday. I've got a little community gun, just uh, you know, just to. I don't know. <laughs> just to make a bit of a network. Um, you will find though I do go absent for a day or two. Uh, there's a reason for that, which I'm not really want to get into. Uh, it's, it's it's not any more than that. It's, it's just I've been through loads the last few years, but I'm coming through the end, and uh, we'll get there. Right, and I'll be going out. Uh, I will be going out of um, soon. English castles and lighthouses. I'll be taking this kit with us. This radio is the best radio I've owned, and I've had a FTDX10 that beats it in performance. It's absolutely mint. But uh, I, this is how I tune everything. This is me set up, and I test everything using the USDX, uh, the TS480, and the receiver end on the. Um, on the RTL SDR. Uh, if you want, I'll be going into the D, uh, RTL SDR with uh, the members on both sides. I have the uh, antenna side, and then I've got me UK amateur radio group. I started that four years ago, and it's just gone mad. I think I've got 1,200 members. They all want them to join. But uh, like I say, the one thing I ask is uh, to refrain from. What was it? Uh, Commenting on on the adverts, unless it's a seal, because um, when Bill did that, he obviously it stopped all my sales, and I couldn't send the last two, two or three parcels off, because um, I over I over invested, I bought too much stuff. I, I went mad and bought loads of fishing reels, loads of onions, a uh, couple more rods, and uh, it it just went pear shaped after Bill went on his mission. I've kicked them off. I've blocked them. He reported us to Barclays as for fraud. Uh, had my bank account closed. Little did Bill know. Well, sorry, little did people know. I mean, Stephen Lang and Paul Bugger. I give him a different excuse sometimes three a day. And I was like, you cannot write this as lad. Now as I'm like, he thinks, wait, now as I'm bullshitting. But when I was telling the truth, I was like, he's not going to believe this. But anyway, his stuff's the way he's got the message. Uh, the tracking number and he saw it. I had to, when the car broke down, his parcel was in the boot. I thought I posted it, but anyway, that's sorted. Yeah, like um, if you if you've got like uh, positive comments, 
for the kit you've had. If you see an advert, just say, yeah, I've got one, it works great. I have loads of faith in my own, I don't just tie them out. And they're all from last year, all designs are from last year when I come second in that uh, contest. Uh, I'm very uh, avid on uh, portable work, portable antennas built by an activator. I couldn't buy antennas good enough, so I made them. First time I made the 24-foot 20, one, I put it in the tripod, and uh, I didn't need the ATU. I was like, what? Brilliant. Anyway, I'm rambling. Catch you later, lads, and thanks for understanding.